Hello guys, my name is Greg and welcome to Central New York Backpacker. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about sleep systems. Um, now it's important to understand your sleep system is not just your sleeping bag. It's your shelter, whether that's a tent, a hammock, a lean-to, whatever it is you're sleeping in. It's also your sleeping bag, it's your sleeping pad, and it's also your sleep clothes that you're going to use just for sleeping. Now, the last thing that you want to do or have happen is to get out there and you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning freezing and you got to get out, do exercise to try to warm up and then crawl back in your bag and try to get a couple more hours of sleep. So... That being said, we're going to start with your sleeping bag, okay? Now, your sleeping bag has a comfort rating. Now, what they don't tell you is more or less how they got that comfort rating. The comfort rating assumes that you're going to wear a base layer, a beanie, um... They assume that you're going to use an insulated pad to get to that low comfort rating on the bag. Now, if you're in the market for a sleeping bag and you start to look at the reviews, you'll notice, uh, first of all, all those reviews that are like a first look or that generally people didn't use it, but they're, they feel the need to give it some kind of review. Obviously, you're going to ignore all those. And you're going to look for the ones where, I like to look for the ones where people have struggled with it or it didn't work for them and try to understand why. Um, if you can get enough information, but usually you'll find people complain, oh geez, the bag was rated for X and it was warmer than that and I was still cold. Um, and then it leaves you guessing as to whether or not they had a base layer on, did they wear a hat. Did they have a decent pad? And all those sorts of things. Now, in terms of your clothing, you're going to have just separate clothing that you're only going to use to sleep in. Okay? So it's like you hike all day. If you've gotten wet because it rained and you're soaking wet, you're going to basically set up your shelter. If it's still raining... You know, you can't put your sleep clothes on until you actually get ready to get in your bag or inside your shelter. Because you can't get them wet. Okay? So, everything has to be kind of like in a waterproof compartment. Right? You can't get your sleeping bag wet either, obviously. Um, and you want to have a pair of sleep socks. You want to have um, some sort of beanie or a balaclava. I like the balaclava because it will basically seal up all of the exposed skin around your neck. Um, there's a whole host of different pads out there. Uh, I recommend getting some sort of insulated pad. They're not much more weight and not much more money. So that's kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, let's see, what else? What else am I missing? Uh... How do you know what the lows are going to be for whatever trip you're going on? Okay, first off, you're just going to do a general, simple Google search, historical temperatures, and wherever you're going. Adirondacks, New York, if that's where you happen to be going. And then you're going to get a bunch of data will pop up. You're going to look for the lows during that time. And you want to go back four or five years... Okay, and then you'll have a good idea of what the lows are going to be. So then you might say to yourself, okay, the lowest it's going to be while I'm out there is 30 degrees. Am I going to be able to take this to 30 degrees? So if your bag is rated for whatever it is, how are you going to supplement that to make it work? Now, ideally, if you can test it in your backyard, that's obviously perfect, right? Um, but sometimes people can't do that 
and adding to you know the temperature of your bag to make it go lower you can definitely do that there's different ways you can get these reactor sea to summit sleep bag liners which kind of looks like this kind of like a big sock um, and this one is the reactor it's like the basic one adds like 14 degrees to your bag um, I don't know about that but I can tell you it does add some warmth uh, I've used it a couple of times uh, it's not overly constricting it's kind of like a big sock but usually what I do is I'll kind of wad it all up like so and keep it in the bottom of my pad and then during the night if I get cold I'll pull it up um, I've only used it a couple of times it did add warmth um, just to kind of test it out. So I can't really comment on whether it's going to add 14 degrees to your bag, but that's an option. You can um, bring, obviously, a puffy jacket, right? And basically, you can sleep in something like this. Uh, I've never done this because I don't like the idea of compressing the down seems like if you wore this but people do uh, you can also bring this uh, little piece of reflectix that I made um, this is pretty light and you just make a section for your core so basically from your shoulders to your hips and you add this to your pad uh, I've done this in the colder months. It's hard to tell whether it adds to it, but um, it can't hurt, and it's like maybe two ounces for this. It's really light. Um, and then obviously, if you've got a jacket, right, you can wear this as well. But um, now some... set up here okay so mm -hmm. sleeping clothes just some simple cheap options Walmart sells these cuddle duds they're like 60% uh, polyester I don't know 30% brand with some spandex in there they're really comfortable and it's kind of like a mid-weight. Uh, if you want to go lighter, you can just use some simple running tights with like a Techwick shirt. Okay. Um, they're not going to be as warm, obviously. So you can start there and then see how it works. And then you can get some heavier weight, long underwear, polyester fleece, something top and bottom. Um for a little bit more weight and so basically you got a trial and error to get an idea of where your sleep system's at you can also get these little thin glove liners you've got like a boatload of options these are just a TSLA it's kind of a name of the brand um, it's the same as this beanie um, they're super light these weigh like one and a half ounces uh, you can sleep in it so your hands aren't going to get cold. And, uh, you know, there's not much to them. So, uh, that's that. They're a little, these are a little tight on me because they've kind of shrunk up a little bit. But, uh, and then you've got like a balaclava, which I recommend bringing. It covers your neck. Um, this is smart wool. And again, it's, it's worth the wait. And thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you find something that works for you. And I'll see you next time.